All academic research starts with a conceptual problem, regardless of the discipline. A conceptual problem is when we simply don't understand something about the world as much as we would like. For the purpose of this video, the problem I'm addressing is that cities and infrastructure are destroyed in natural disasters. This is a growing problem in our world today, given the increase of natural disasters related to climate change. That problem informs a question. We form our problem into a question because a question can be answered. At this point, you may do some research to learn more about the problem and help inform questions you may want to ask. Eventually, a question will stick. And when it does, you can go with it. In this case, the question I want to investigate is how can we build more resilient cities to withstand natural disasters? So directly related to my problem, but now I have a question to answer. And now that we have a question, we can answer it. This is where the majority of your research happens. After you've consulted various sources, you should be able to develop an answer to your question. One potential answer could be to use natural elements to reduce energy of surges instead of trying to resist them. The solution is the representation of your answer, whether it be a piece of art or a drawing of a built work. This becomes your proposed solution. So ultimately, the question is what informs your solution. And that's why we put so much emphasis on developing the right research question.